Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got another Shop Talk video and this video is going to be on the topic of the COVID era cars, uh, basically cars that were manufactured during COVID era and a few issues that I've seen going on with them. Now before we go ahead and begin guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below, smash that like button because it helps the channel out. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started on today's topic. So COVID era cars, guys, that's the topic for today. And a lot of you may be wondering, what do you mean by that? Uh, generally, what I've been referring to when it comes to that topic is going to be cars made from 2020 to about 2022, guys. Uh, those uh, couple years there. Uh, I have found that those cars are not built uh, the same way or not as solidly. And there have been a lot more quality control issues with them. And it could stem from a lot of things. And I, this video is necessarily out there to say don't buy those cars. But it's kind of a warning for anyone out there looking to buy a used car or even purchase a car that is still on the lot as new and it's a couple years old because it hasn't sold due to you know stuff going on with the economy. But uh, you may want to think twice before buying cars from 2020 and cars from about 2022. So in that you know little range. Now, I don't work at a dealer, so I don't have any statistics or anything or any fail patterns that I see, but I have a lot of friends that are in the industry. They're still dealer techs, and you know, more than likely, very commonly now, I, I've talked to them here and there, and they're always telling me that you know certain cars are having this issue and that issue. Now, I was in the market myself to buy a certain car for my family, and I was looking at a 2021, 2022. I figured I won't buy it brand brand new, maybe a year or two old, you know, low miles. That way, I don't have to take the sticker shock hit and lose most of the value for buying a new. Uh, and I was looking around for all these cars and I have a buddy that works at the dealership and I asked him like, hey, how have uh, these cars been for this year? And he's like, don't do it. He's like, ever since uh, 2020 and uh, going up to like 2022, he's like, we've had nothing but issues with our cars. Uh, a lot of co quality control issues, not major defects, but a lot of small pesky things. Some of them were small, some of them were a little bit more to the major point, but he's like, there's been a lot of quality control issues and this and that. And that kind of deterred me and I've stopped looking at least for that year. And now I'm facing uh, pretty much buying a brand new, uh, apparently uh, 23 and up, uh, the restrictions of the quality control uh, got better because now that people are going out of the COVID era, uh, you know, everything's going back to normal. Now, what I can assume happened, guys, is this. It's pretty simple. Uh, back in 2020, everyone in the world, or at least anyone watching this video, unless you live under a rock, you know that, you know, COVID was going around. There were a lot of restrictions. People weren't working. Factories shut down. You know, the world was in complete chaos, and it still hasn't really fully recovered as of yet. I still see a lot of stuff. But either way, uh, what happened during those years for the manufacturing of cars is there were a lot of part shortages. Uh, you guys have all heard about that. There was a lot of manufacturing shortages, but these cars still had to be produced. And since there were a lot of issues with people getting sick, a lot of the factories laid off their workforce. So the best example of this, let's say pre-COVID, if there was a manufacturer making cars in 2018 and 2019, let's say that car went through uh, five different inspectors to verify the quality control of it. Well, during COVID era, they might have said, oh crap, we don't want to get people sick. So they might only have one inspector or two inspectors and they can't get all of the quality control issues out of their was an issue or the manufacturer that's making parts for them or you know the assembly line it had to skip on workers because of the potential of them getting sick and they reduce their labor force so now things are getting missed because there's not enough people doing the work or it's all going down to one person and you know they're folding under the stress so you guys can kind of see where I'm going with this and that's what I believe happened during this era because after I talked with my buddy regarding this particular car that I was interested in buying I talked to a lot of my other buddies that are at the dealership and I asked them like, hey, uh, any weird things that happened uh, on cars that you're working on from 2020 and up versus the same model in 2019 or 18? And there was uh, quite a few of them that, you know, the models haven't changed much. Uh, uh, the specific brand that I'm referring to, guys, is a Nissan. And it, the body changeover started in 2019 and there hasn't been much change. It's virtually untouched. It's the same exact truck. And I asked my 
all my buddies at the dealer are like, hey, any car that was being made pre-COVID, same body style, nothing has changed on it, what's the quality before and after in your opinion? And all of them had something to say like, hey, the same body style, same car in 2019 doesn't have this issue, but the 2020 and 21s do. And nothing has been changed. It's not like the engines changed or the body style changed or they introduced a new model. It's virtually the same car. But due to the quality control restrictions and the labor restrictions and shortages and how they were making things, uh, I guess you can say manufacturers cheaped out or they did whatever they could to just get stuff done, kind of assembled things in a hurry or made stuff in a hurry. And the final product, even though it's a working product, it may not be 100%. And this also goes into a lot of car companies. Like there was a Ford that had manufactured so many trucks and they were just sitting in a parking lot. You're talking about 2021s and 22s sitting in a grass field somewhere, rusting and rotting, waiting for computer chips. Uh, those cars are, you know, pretty much used at that point, you know. So there was a lot of weird stuff going on. Uh, it, like I said, it's been a wild few couple years. Uh, everyone knows this. Uh, now it's even to a point where I'll probably cover this on a separate uh, video that uh, you know manufacturers are shipping cars without options and giving people IOUs that they'll install those options when they become available. But you know, regardless, guys, uh, it's just something that I, I never thought I'd uh, experience or see because you know I, I no one ever expected this to happen, but. Uh, there is going to be a difference and again, I'm not saying this is going on everywhere or it's limited to any manufacturer It could be all of them could be a few of them uh, Maybe some of the quality didn't change they you know were able to resourcefully Manage the restrictions of the workforce and part shortages and still produce a good product So I'm not gonna be naming any names or anything on this um, Even the example that I used was just a Nissan again not bad mouthing anyone or anything here guys I uh, just wanted to, you know, spread the point. Uh, so be very mindful when you're buying these cars. Do your research. And I almost want to say, and again, this is going out on a limb, uh, but I would like to say probably don't even look at a 2020 through 2022 because they just might be a bunch of headaches. But if you do plan on getting one, make sure you do your uh, best research on them. So with that said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Please comment, like, and subscribe because it definitely helps the channel grow. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next video.